Hey guys, welcome to the second video of the personal blog website. In this video, we're going to implement the project together, step by step, from scratch. Okay, let's head to the project specification. And right here, it clearly says that it has to have at least these two pages, the home page and the pause page. So I'm going to head over here and create both of them. Now let's head to the structure section. In the second specification in the structure section, it clearly states that in your main CSS that corresponds to your main HTML file, it has to have at least three imported files. So in total, we're going to have four CSS. Okay, now let's get back to the specification. Here in the third uh, specification in the structure section, it clearly states that your files should be organized by structure directory. So all this means that all your static HTML files should be in a static folder and all your CSS files should be in a styles folder. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create two folders. One for the statics and one for the CSS. Then we're going to put all our HTML in the static folder and all our CSS files in the styles folder. Okay, let's go And of course, we're going to keep the index.html, the, sorry, the home page, your index, in the root directory. Now let's import all the three files. Okay, awesome. Now let's start working on each page according to the specification. Let's head to the fourth specification in the design section. Here it clearly states that in your home page you have to have a nav bar, a postcard section, and a footer. Okay. Now let's start with the um, initial mockup. Stay here. Don't forget your language, English, and of course your hat, and the body. Okay, awesome. 
in the head we're going to start working with the meta charge set of utf8 and then we're going to put here our responsive meta tag you don't have to really memorize it all you have to do is just copy it over here awesome and now let's work on the title i'm gonna name this the blog home page then i'm gonna work on the link for my style sheets i'm gonna do some insert f navigate to the style main.css and of course don't forget to specify that this is a style sheet okay awesome now let's copy this and paste it in the home page also okay now let's start on the actual implementation of the home page we saw this that it has to have navbar and we have this let's call this class um home page now and let's create here let's say an ordered list and here i'm going to create element let's make this a header okay and inside my header i'm going to have a link okay i'm going to have this h href to i'm going to navigate this to the second page which is the home page so i'm going to go here sorry the post page and of course i'm gonna like this i'm gonna say this the first link okay and then i'm gonna copy this and create another three so let's say here this is the second link sorry second link and this is gonna be the third link okay awesome let's go and see waiting for okay go over here personal blog website and let's go to home page Okay, awesome we have all three links that will go to an empty um, post page okay now let's work on the second section which is the postcard section let's say I'm gonna create a div okay I'm gonna give it a class of uh, let's call this post card section okay and inside this i'm gonna create my first card so i'm gonna create a, a second div with the class of first card okay and here this specification clearly states that i should have a card an image and buttons okay so i'm gonna create here another div and i'm gonna call this class card and i'm gonna uh, let's say a paragraph saying hmm. we don't really need a paragraph Let's say this is the first card. Okay, amazing. Then I should have an image and buttons. Okay, but first let's go back to the previous specification. And here in the search specification, it clearly states that you should have images and image captions. Of course, in order to make figure captions, you need to have figure. So I'm gonna create figure tag. And then I'm gonna 
put in it my image and of course my bigger caption and I'm gonna say this is the uh, first post image maybe let's just say this is my first post uh, post okay okay and don't forget the button the button and say click sorry click here to go to the post amazing okay so in let's refresh I should have my image here of course we're gonna work on this but the button is doesn't do anything when I click on it okay we want to we want this to go to the other way so all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a link okay and I'm gonna say I want to navigate to the home page and then I'm gonna take this button and I'm gonna put it inside my link so I'm just gonna delete this and refresh sorry let's refresh and then go it, it transform uh, transfer me to the post page okay awesome now let's create maybe um two of these maybe three i want to have three cards let's create another two okay awesome and let's change this to the second chord and this to the third chord okay and then i'm gonna say this is gonna be the second and this is gonna be the second post of course they're all gonna like to the same post but whatever this is gonna be the third chord and this is gonna be the third post okay awesome now let's work on the images I'm gonna head to Bixabay website and I'm gonna download this image. This is a random image, whatever you want to um, make your image, just do it. But I want to make an experiment. I want to show you the difference between bigger images and smaller images. Of course, bigger images is gonna, um, it's, it's gonna basically ruin your layout. It's gonna override your, uh, your viewport and your device uh, viewport will be as huge as this image. So your elements like your headers, your um, um, your paragraphs, everything is gonna look very small compared to this image. So we gonna download both. I'm gonna download here the smaller size, okay? Gonna wait for it to download. and let's go to the personal blog website and over here i'm gonna create a new folder and i'm gonna call it images okay new folder and call this image okay and i'm gonna download the smaller size image and then I'm gonna download one of the larger um, sizes. Okay. Download here. Okay. Download. Awesome. And let's experiment. Let's make this um, the larger image. Okay. Let's say this is a larger. Okay. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over here okay okay awesome let's refresh and see what's gonna happen it's 
D, it totally breaks my CSS. Look how it looks. It looks really bad. Then even on smaller sizes, smaller viewports, it's gonna look catastrophic. Let's go over here. Look how this looks. It's so huge. The image is so huge compared to the other elements in our viewport. Look, you can't even see this text. Let's go under. You can see this or this, or you can't even click on this. This button is not clickable and it's horrible. So all we have to do is let's change to the other image, the smaller image, okay? Let's have the smaller size. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it over here. And you guys are gonna see the difference. It's gonna be a huge difference. Okay, let's paste this and let's refresh. I'm gonna let's see on here. Look. It's still big, but you can at least see the text. Let's zoom in. Look. You can still see the text, but previously you couldn't see it. Let's do the other. Let's make look. It's still big, but you can probably see it, you know? Okay. Now let's work on the footer, the last section. I'm going to here create a footer. And I'm going to say this is going to be, um, let's make a paragraph over here. And I'm going to say copy right for... Aladdin Hub channel. Okay. Now let's refresh. I'm gonna get out of here and say let's hit refresh. And over here you're gonna see copyrights for Aladdin channel. Okay, awesome. 